Offsec just announced a new certification for Blue Teamers, the OSIR, which stands for Offsec Certified Incident Responder. In this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about the new certification, explain how it fits into the cybersecurity certification landscape, and help you decide if it's the right move for your career. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I've been in the cybersecurity field for over six years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. And I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. This video is not sponsored. I create these certification overview videos to keep you informed about new certifications and to help you make informed career decisions. For transparency, none of my videos have been sponsored so far, even though some certification companies have shared or showcased my content, which might give the impression of sponsorship. If I ever do do a sponsorship video in the future, I will make that explicitly clear. Many aspiring incident responders struggle to find high quality training tailored for this role. While there are abundance of courses and certifications for penetration testing and defensive security, the options for practical, hands-on incident response training are far fewer. That's where Offsec's IR200 course and OSIR certification come in. The IR200 course is designed to give you foundational, hands-on training in incident response and it focuses on preparing for identifying and managing security incidents in real world scenarios. Here's a quick rundown of what the course covers. Incident Response Overview. This introduces the basics of incident response, emphasizing NIST Special Publication 800-61. Fundamentals of Incident Response. Learn about the roles and responsibilities of incident response teams, as well as key frameworks like CREST, SANS, and NIST. Phases of Incident Response. A deep dive into the four-phase NIST model, preparation, detection and analysis, containment and eradication, and post-incident activity. Communication plans. Understand the value of effective communication during incidents with examples of good and bad practices. Common attack techniques covers both opportunistics and targeted attacks. Incident detection and identification teaches detection and analysis of malicious activities. Initial impact assessment explains how to evaluate the scope and impact of an incident. Digital forensics for incident responders introduces forensic measures and evidence handling. Incident response case management includes a lab using the IRIS tool. And lastly, active incident containment, which teaches techniques to isolate and neutralize threats during active incidents. If you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. The OSIR exam is a 12 hour proctored hands-on assessment where you'll demonstrate your ability to prepare for, detect, analyze, and respond to security incidents in a simulated environment. Like all other offsec certs, the OSIR exam includes a report written component which must be completed within 24 hours after the exam. Key features of this exam include practical learning. This course equips you with hands-on skills, not just theory. You'll be working through real-world scenarios in a safe, controlled lab environment. Professional validation. Passing the OSIR exam proves that you have foundational incident response expertise, positioning you for roles like SOC analyst, incident responder, or digital forensics analyst. Like the OSTH and other newer OFSEC certifications, the OSIR expires after three years. Offsec's continuing education program will provide options for renewal, but these details are yet to be available. The current pricing for IR200 and the OSIR falls in line with the other 200 level Offsec certifications, as you can see here. If you know Offsec, you know their courses aren't cheap, but they are designed to deliver value. Now let's talk about alternatives. While the OSIR is a solid option, there are other incident response certifications available. EC Council Certified Incident Handler, ECIH cover incident response concepts, but lacks the hands-on labs and reporting requirements of OSIR. There's also the GX Certified Incident Handler, that's the GCIH, well respected, but more theoretical compared to the ISIR. And lastly, there is a Certified Incident Responder, that's the ECIR from INE Security, which in my opinion is a top competitor to the OSIR because this certification is hands-on and it also includes a report writing component. It's more affordable, costing $400 for the exam voucher and $59 a month for training. While these options are viable, the OSIR stands out because it emphasizes practical skills and has offsex brand recognition, which carries a lot of weight in the industry. So that begs the question, is OSIR right for you? This certification is ideal if you're looking to build a foundation in incident response, transition into roles like SOC analyst, incident responder, or cybersecurity specialist. 
or gain practical hands-on experience in responding to security incidents. However, if you're brand new to cybersecurity, I recommend starting out with something like CompTIA Security Plus or Offsex OSCC. I have a video for both of these certifications if you want to learn more about them. In conclusion, the OSIR certification addresses a real gap in the market for high quality, practical incident response training. With its hands-on approach, industry recognition, and focus on practical skills, it's a strong contender for anyone looking to break into or advance in incident response roles. If you're interested in another OFSEC certification, check out my video on the OSTA certification. It covers foundational threat hunting skills and how it compares to other certifications in the field. Click and watch now.